studying. Amen. Yeah. And so to be one in the knowing of God, it's going to take time. It's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take study. Amen. And the one other thing that what is required of us that's not required of them with higher education is transformation. Amen. This knowing requires transformation. Amen. It requires a change. Amen. It requires deliverance. It requires healing. Amen. And so knowing is empowering. Amen. It will empower you. Yes. It will give you confidence. Amen. Amen. There's no demon, no devil, no trouble, no worries, nothing that can take you out of God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Apostle and I was having a discussion and I said, you know, that individual had more of a relationship with their position and with their title than they did with God. When you see people who once they have lost their position or they lost their church or yeah. and now they leave God, yeah. their relationship was with the earthly thing Come more on. than it was with the Come heavenly on. thing. Come Amen? On. And so you got to be careful when that individual now approaches you because they've been marked. Amen? Amen. They have been marked. Amen? Amen? And only God can take the mark off. Amen? Come on. And it's going to require them repenting if they have not blasphemed against the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so we got to be careful how we handle entertain, be around um, those individuals. Amen? And so tonight from the topic of knowing is empowering. empowering Psalms 27 and we're going to begin in verse 1. Psalms 27 and verse 1. And the Bible says the Lord is my light. Amen. And my salvation. The Lord is my light. And my salvation. That sounds like somebody that knows. So knowing is empowering. Who is he to you? Knowing is empowering. Amen. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Knowing is empowering, people of God. It says the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength. He's the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. But it started with, it started with the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And then after speaking with confidence and assurance in who the Lord is in his life, he gave a testimony. It will give you a testimony when you know who God is. The knowing will give you a testimony of who God is. When the wicked, even my enemies, you ain't even got to fear your enemies when you know. When you know. When you know. Your enemies is just your enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you know. I just heard in my in my ear they your frenemies because you know how to keep them as your friend even though they declare to be your enemy. Why? Because you know. You already know. They don't have power over you, so why entertain the enemy status? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat 
up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. God got them. They, they stumbled. They, they stumbled. They stumbled. And they fell. So the very thing that they sinned against you will cause them to fall. Will cause them to fall. When you know. When you know you can sit back and watch your enemy. When you know. When you know you can cross your arms and relax. I know you're there. People have often asked why you deal with so and so when you know that they don't like you. They hate you. I ain't got to worry about them. They're not my problem. They're the Lord's problem. I just got to keep doing what I'm doing in God. He got that. I ain't tripping. Well, I don't even know how you know how to be in their presence because I know who he is. And I know who I am in him. That's how you do it. Amen. So when you know. You can sit at the table with your enemy. Yes, God. Yes, God. And watch them stick stick their bread in your cup. Yeah, they're gonna dip yeah. with you. They're gonna, they, they gonna dip with you, yeah. suck with you. Because yeah. you already know I ain't tripping. <laughs> you either gotta get together or God yeah. gonna deal with you one yeah. of the two. Yeah. I ain't even gotta worry about it. Why yeah. do I have to fight with you when the Lord fights my battles? Right. That's right. That's right. Verse 3 says, Though a host should encamp against me, against me, my heart shall not fear. Hey. Woo! Hey. Knowing is empowering. Yes, Do y'all hear the power coming yes. from the knowing? Because he let us know he knows who he is. In verse 1, y'all, I can reread verse 1 over and over again. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Fear. The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Though a host should encamp against me, uh -huh. sure. my heart uh -huh. shall not fear. My heart shall not fear. Though war should arise against me, and this will I be confident. Yes. I'm going to be confident yes. in the fact that the Lord is my light and my salvation. I'm confident that the Lord is the strength of my life. In whom shall I be afraid? He said, I got confidence. I'm confident in him. And I'm confident that I'm covered. Because I know who he is. And I know who I am to him. I'm his child that he paid the price for. I'm his servant that has yielded to him. I know who I am to him. I'm saved by the blood yeah. that was shed on Calvary's cross yeah. for me. I'm the one who has been redeemed out of the hand of my enemy. See, I know who he is and I know who I am to him. He look at me and he say, that's the one I paid the blood for. That's the one I wore the crown for. That's the one who I took the piercings for. That's the one who I took the stripes for. I know who that is. My child that's been converted. My child that's been transformed. My child that makes the sacrifice. Come on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. To live holy. To know, to know. Hallelujah. To know Thank you, is to be empowered. Thank you, Lord. Come on. You are empowered when yes. you know. Yes. When you know. Thank you walk different when you know. When you know. When you, you talk know. different when you know. When you know. It, it, knowing takes your ignorance away. Yeah. When you know. Knowing what? takes lying away. When you know. Knowing yeah. takes backbiting away. When you know. Knowing causes you to know that God Ooh. is a forgiver. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Of them that sin against him. So when you know, you ain't got to lie about what you've done because you know the knower knows that you did it. Amen. And he got you covered if you repent and turn. Hallelujah. Know that you know that you know. But you got to know how he works. You got to know how he operates. But when you don't know, you a lie. When you don't know, you will steal. Right, when you don't know, you will backbite. Right, when you don't know, you will gossip. Right, when mother. you don't know, you will entertain yes, demons God. and devils and its works. Yes, when you don't know, you turn to drugs. Yeah. When you don't know, you turn to sex. When you don't know, you turn to alcohol. When you don't know, 
you turn to the things that displease him rather than standing in confidence that he'll come to rescue you out of your situation. He will send angels to war on your behalf. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He will cause them to stumble and fall. Come on. That rise up against you. Yes. Come on. He will cause you to be in the midst of a whole bunch of enemies. They say here, a host of them. It camped. They encamped. They surrounded. They took a seat. They, they, they. They came yeah. and they yeah. settled. Yeah. They established themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the definition here says settle in or establish a camp around about, especially as a military one. Yeah. So they came to fight. Yeah. 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 They came to deal with you. Uh, they came ready to battle. Amen. Uh, but uh, when you know. When you know. Somebody say when, when you, know. you know. When you know. You're not afraid. You're not afraid. You look at them and say, hey, how y'all doing? Yes, I see you. I, I see you. Yeah. And y'all is up in here deep. Come on. Y'all up in here strong. Y'all in in camps around me. Come on. So that yeah. means that there's a battle before me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I told an individual, you're going to have to get in a fight. I said, you, you want God to just allow it to just bypass. Right, right. And you want him to fix it. But I had to tell him, I see turbulence. I see trouble. Yeah. You're going to go through some things. But if you just believe, and if you just be confident, God will see you through it. Amen? But you can't just be praying a prayer, God fix it. Uh, I don't want to deal with none of the broken of it. I don't want to deal with none of the adverse reaction of it. I don't want to deal with none of the process of it. I just want it to be done, and I want it done right now. And I had to let him know, wait a minute. That's not how it's going. That's true. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And people often get up can get upset with you. Yeah, they will. Yeah. When you tell them I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God ain't coming with a quick fix. Thank you, Lord. You're gonna have to go through something. Can't you shorten it? <laughs> because people want a quick fix. Yeah. They want him to hurry quick up. Fix. They want and they want the miracle now. Right, right now. now. I want you to know if he do it now or do it next year, it's still a miracle. Hey. Come on. Come on. Miracle is not described or uh, determined by the time that it happened, but it's determined by the magnitude of which it happened. Yes. Miracle, miracle. Come on. It's a miracle. God did it. If he had to use the hands of the doctors, God did it. He did it, amen. Because he gave them the wisdom yes. to do what they did. Yes. Come on. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Verse 4 says, One thing uh -oh. I desired uh -oh. of the Lord. Uh -oh. One thing yes, one. I thing. have desired yeah, yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. That will I will seek I. Come on. After. Uh -huh. That I may dwell. Well. In uh -huh. the house uh -huh. of the Lord well, uh, all yes, the Lord. days yes, of my life yes, to behold uh -huh. the beauty uh -huh. of the temple well, of the Lord well, and to inquire yeah, in his temple. Yeah, he said, I just want to be able to sit in the house. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know that I've been in the house. Yes. That's all I want to do. He said, I ain't trying to be great. I just want a seat. I just want to be able to inquire of him. I'm not seeking titles. I'm seeking a seat. What are you seeking in this season? What do you desire of the Lord? He said, the one thing that I desire is to dwell in the house of the Lord. He said, all I want 
to do is go. When I go, the doors open. When I go, I can get down on my knees and call on the name of the Lord. He said, that's my one desire. Anything that God desires to give me after that yeah. is a bonus. It's an add-on. It's not to, I don't desire that over being in his presence. Yeah. I don't desire that over a relationship. I'm not desiring a position, a title over my relationship with him. He said the one thing that I desire is to know him on a personal level. I want to sit in his house. I want to dwell with him. I want to be in his presence. I want to know him personally. Come on. I want to know his beauty. Man. His eloquence, yeah. his tenderness. Yeah. I, I want to know him. I, I know he's a deliverer, but I want to know his. I want to delight in him. I just want to sit down and 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 just relax. Yeah. And be comfortable. I don't want to just have to call on him when I got a, a headache, when I'm trying to be cured, when I want to be healed, when I want to be delivered, when I need something from my children. I, I need to know how to enjoy him. And I want to tell you that your house doesn't always have to be the church. Come on. The temple can be your car. Come on. Come on. Come on. You just sit in there and inquire of him. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I seek you to be here. I seek you. I desire to be with you. Yes. Verse 5 says. Come on. For in the time of trouble. In the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, knowing is empowering. He will protect you. Amen. He will cover you and protect you. Glory be to God. He will do it. Glory to God. But you got to know him. Got to know him. You got to know him and be confident in your knowing. Amen? It says this, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. He gonna set me on a rock. Yeah. That's right. Cause I know him. I know him. Not because of my position in him, yes. but because I know him. Yeah. Because I declared that yes. the Lord is my light. Yes. He is my salvation. He is the strength of my life. And so because of that, he's my protector. So how do I respond to this? Verse 6 says, And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies Come on. around about me. Therefore, I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. So in other words, I'm going to walk by my enemy and I'm going to say hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. He is my strength. He is my light. He's the light of my salvation. There is no question if I'm saved. I know I'm saved. I know I've been delivered. I know I'm healed. I know I'm transformed. And I know you my enemy. I know you seek to kill me. You seek to destroy me. I know your works. Come on, prophetess. But yet shall I sing and praise the Lord. Knowing is empowering. 
Verse 7 says, Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou didst seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. He, 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 he talking like he's confident that he's saved. But he made some errors along the way. And he know he angered the Lord along the way. But one thing he remains confident in is his salvation and the protection that the Lord guarantees him as long as he remain in his salvation. Verse 10, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. <laughs> He will take you up. Mama can walk away. Daddy can walk away. But here comes the Lord. Teach me thy way, O Lord. And lead me in the plain path because of my enemies. You know, you know I, Lord, I don't need fame and lights. Because you know, soon as they, they see my name in lights, listen. They go, here come the haters. He said, so make this thing smooth, Lord. I don't need no turbulence. I don't need no situations going on. Deal with them. Yeah. But I love how nicely he said, I don't want no trouble, Lord, because of my enemies. I'll take trouble because of you, but I don't want no trouble that came because of them. Amen? Yeah. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are rising up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Anybody ever been there? Yes, Lord. I had fainted unless I believed, unless I knew. Yeah. Unless I knew. That I would see the goodness of the Lord yeah, yeah, in the land yeah, of the yeah, living. Yeah, I, I would have fainted. Yeah, yeah. But then I remembered. Yeah. I would see the goodness of the Lord yeah. in the land of the living. Wait a minute. He said, so I'm not going to just yeah. see goodness when I get up there. I'm going to see it here yeah. in the land of the living. You're going to let me see it right now. Now, in the land of the living, shall I know your goodness? Shall I know your mercy? Shall I know who you are? Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And, the, and he shall strengthen my heart. Wait, I say. Wait, I say. Wait, I say on the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody give the Lord a hand yeah, clap of praise. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. You good, thank son. You, thank you, thank you. you good. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yes. Whom shall I fear? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whom shall I be afraid? She got it. it, it you good, son. You good. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Faith. Oh. On the Lord in my Bible app. I click that button. Uh -huh. I click it, the I. It mm -hmm. says, wait in faith. Wait in faith. Wait in confidence. On the Lord. Wait in faith. Wait in your knowing. Wait in this knowing. Wait in your knowing. Amen. Wait in your knowing. Wait in your knowing that he on his way. He got you. Amen. Wait knowing that God got you. Amen. So, yes. Uh, in verse 2 and 3, we see that the drama, the war that's on the outside. Amen. Come on. He still stayed in a place of peace. Yes, he did. He said, what thing? Yeah. One. Did none of that outside of him <laughs> shake him at all? Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo! Stay right in the peace. 
peaceful place. Yes, he did. One thing. Our desire. Hallelujah. He yet desired the Lord after he had been encamped about around his enemies. He said, I still desire the Lord. I still desire his presence. I still desire to know him. I still desire. I'm at peace. While you're encamped around about me, I'm at peace. When the enemy tries to depress me, when the enemy tries to cause me to sin against God and step out of the will of God, when the enemy tempts me with suicide, when the enemy when the enemy tempts me with sexual perversion, when the enemy tempts me to go back to my own ways, when the enemy tempts me with anger, when he tempts me with rage, when he tempts me. Come on. Come on. I'm still going to be at peace. When, when the enemy reminds me I was rejected, I was abandoned. You, 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 you don't have no earthen identity. Who your daddy on earth? I ain't tripping, I don't know, but I know who my daddy is. I know who my provider is. I ain't tripping. Hallelujah, Jesus. When, 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 when the enemy try to misidentify you, when he try to make you think you a girl when you a boy, when he try to make you think you a boy when you a girl, he, 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 he ain't camping around about you. He give you a desire to have a broke wrist when God calls you to be strong. All right, all right. When he calls you to be the head. Yes. He ain't camp around about you. A host of perverted uh, spirits yeah. to lead you out of the yeah. will of God. God. That's right. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Hallelujah. Thank you. Knowing yeah. is empowering. Yeah, sure is. Knowing make you say, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's I about to? Almost. Yeah, yeah. Trust. This devil came and tried me. Come on, Mom. You slid in here. Yeah. Look at here, look at here. Yeah. You almost slid yeah. in here. But hold on. Yes. Hold on. The Lord said, wait, girl, blink your eyes a few times. And look and see. Look again. That ain't a tree. That's a devil. You better look again. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We may look like trees. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You better look again. You better squint and blink your eyes. Refocus. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you thought you was coming that way. You missed your season. Come on. I done messed around and got some strength between that time and this time. You missed it. That's good. Look, now I just need to blink a few times. I ain't got to run to my prayer chamber and holler, glory, Lord, show me who it is. What are they doing? Oh, sure. No, 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 no. I ain't got to fast. I just can blink. And the Lord will say, to your vision, baby. Look. That's it. That's it. Come on. You're going to have to be quicker than that. Come on. Come on. You're going to have to have a quick bounce back. And the devil gonna get mad somehow. Wait a minute. Where are the truth? Right, right, right. Yeah, don't wait. They used to make them sit right there. Don't yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's right, oh. You're yeah. gonna be waiting. Yeah. And I guarantee you, you got a long minute ahead of you. That's right. Yeah, they used to make them spark anger right there. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they get mad. They'll hang up the phone in your face yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get real mad. Yeah. Uh -huh. Philippians chapter one. Uh-huh. Knowing is empowering. Look at your neighbor and say, be empowered. Be empowered. Be empowered. Get to know him. Get to know him. <laughs> Get to know him. Get to know him. Philippians chapter 1. Jesus. Chapter 1. Knowing is empowering. 
Corey was telling you, he right behind you. He got it. <laughs> Knowing is empowering. Amen. Something we talked about. Know who you are. That's it. Know who, know who he is. That you don't be deceived by him. Tonight, knowing is empowering. Amen. You gotta know. Ask your other neighbor, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Philippians chapter one, we're just gonna lift up one verse here. Being confident. Well, let's lift up two. Like, let's go to verse five. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it. Will perform it. He will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Woo! When you know, you just know. Lord, I don't know what day, I don't know what time, I don't know what hour, but I know what you say. I know it's going to come to pass. Because you started this work in me. I didn't start it. Because the truth be told, I would have left this work right where it was. But since you done started the work, I'm just going to wait for you to complete it. I don't always like how the work is going. But I'm confident that the work will be complete. Sometimes I feel like I'm behind you. Sometimes I feel like I'm with you. And other times of you. But Lord, all I do know is that you going to complete. You going to perform this thing. The good work you started in me. Yeah. I just got to get the bad work out that I started. Yeah. But the good work that you started in me, you going to complete it. For time's sake, let's run on over to John chapter 6. John chapter 6, John chapter 6, because we need to get this in our spirit. Verse 28, we're going to try to hurry up. We got 3.2 minutes. Uh, ooh. Okay, verse 26, verse 26, verse 26. Jesus answered them, saying, Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. You seek me not, well, because you saw the miracle. Make it plain now. But because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. <laughs> you did. Yes. You saw the miracle and ate the miracle. You, you <laughs> didn't even, you ain't even seeking me now for the miracle. You fool. You <laughs> seeking me for what the miracle did for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you ain't confident in the miracle. <laughs> you confident in the substance of the miracle. Yes, Lord. You ain't even tripping no. about the miracle worker. The you miracle ain't even worker. ain't. No, no. Ooh, I'm full. Thank yeah. you. That's it. Oh, oh, I'm looking for a Glory. Mm, 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 mm. Where are we going to sleep yeah, in? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Good fool. Come on, mama. Verse 27. Labor not for the meat uh -oh. which perish. Uh -oh. But for that Meat See which them. endures unto everlasting See life. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Be careful why you seeking God. That's it, that's it. And how you seek him. How you seek because him. when you seek him unknowingly, uh -huh. you seek him wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You yeah. seek him for stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. For positions. Then when the position is gone, you gone. Yeah. Ain't you no don't place. need God. Uh, no I said true, true, true. Yeah. Verse 28. Uh, uh, Wait, uh, let's finish 27. Yes, it says, uh -huh. which the Son of Man shall give unto you. There he is. <laughs> for him has God sure. the Father sealed. He sealed. Yeah. He is sealed. Yeah. He is sealed. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 28. Then said they unto him, uh -huh. what, what shall that? we do? What, 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 what might we work? The works of God. Going back to that label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. So how are we gonna do this? Yeah, yeah. Kind of work you want us to do. What you mean? What you want us to do? 
Mm. Jesus answered and said unto them, What he say? This is the work of God. <laughs> yeah, it is. It ain't even as hard as y'all making it. That you believe on him. That you know who he is. Come on. Who he has sent since. When knowing is empowering. Well, he said, when you know, that's all I want you to do is know. I want you to be confident. I want you to know. He said, Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God. That you believe. That you know. He said, that's all. It's simple. You trying to do all this other stuff, and all yes. I want you to do is no, no, read your Bible, <laughs> have some faith, be confident, yeah. believe your knowing is empowering. Knowing is my God, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. That is so good. All you got to do is know. That's all you got to do is know. No is going to take care of everything else. Yeah. Oh. Your knowing going to handle everything else. Yeah. Verse 30 says, They said, Therefore unto him, uh -huh. What signs showest thou yeah. then, that we may see and believe thee? What doest thou work? They still tripping. They don't know. So don't be ignorant, okay? Don't be ignorant. Know who he is. Amen. When you know it's simple. Amen. Yeah. Knowing is simple. Amen. It's knowing yeah. is a simple it's thing. Good. It's simplicity. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's go to Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. It bless your whole life. I'm gonna tell you afterwards. Mark chapter 16. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Mark chapter 16. Thank you, Jesus. Mark chapter 16. We give you glory, Father. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. And verse, for time's sake, we're trying to move quickly. Verse 15. Here we go. It says here, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Knowing is empowering. Yeah. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that knoweth, he that knoweth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that knoweth not, he that believeth not shall be damned. Listen, knowing is empowering. If you don't know will be damned. If you know you're going to be baptized and you're going to follow the oracles of God. Verse 17 says, and now since you asked about the sign, here it is. Hallelujah. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to tell you what the sign is. Verse 17 says, and these signs shall follow them that know. These signs shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow the knowers. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Knowing is empowering people of God. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Hallelujah. He said, when you know, when you believe, when you know and you believe in the power of my name, when you know that my name is a healer, it's a deliverer. And when you in my name shall they cast out devils. In my name they shall speak with new tongues. In my name they shall take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. In the name of Jesus. But you gotta know. You gotta know. And you need relationship with the one you know. You can't just walk around and have knowing and knowledge. You gotta have knowing and relationship. You gotta have knowing and communication. You gotta be in relationship with him. Knowing him according to knowledge is not enough. He said, I need you to know me. I need you to really know who I am. Hallelujah. Because to know me in knowledge is to have a form of godliness. But to know me in relationship is to walk in your delivered place. Is to be transformed. You can't a form is not enough. Hallelujah. Knowledge is not enough. You need wisdom 
time in this hour. You need to be empowered. And when you know you can lay hands on the sick and they will recover. When you know, hallelujah, you can pick up the serpent and it will do you no harm. When you know, you just know that he got you covered. Hallelujah. And he is your deliverer. When you know, you know he is your healer. When you know, you know he's your mind regulator. When you know, you know that at the name of Jesus, demons tremble. You know that at the name of Jesus, you will be healed. You know that his blood was shed cross and he is your healer when you know you know he wore the crown for you when you know you know he wore the stripes for you yes when you know 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 you just know Robo Shandai when you know you're not scared to lay hands because you know that you're kind in him when you know hallelujah when you know yes when you know yes he is in power do you know do you know who you are and do you know who he is do you know do you know? Thank you. Do you know? Write this down and I'm going to read it in your hearing. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fell from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power. To tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy. <laughs> and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. He said, but you didn't, that didn't happen because of you. That didn't happen because you know me. Because you know me and you connected to me. It's because of me in you, notwithstanding in this. Rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Yeah. You gotta know that you know that you know that yeah. you know. Father, in the name of Jesus, as this woman has come in the house, Lord, she came in to be in your presence. Lord, we ask that you touch her now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. God, bring forth deliverance, bring forth healing, bring forth hallelujah transformation, God. Cause her to know you in the part of sin, God, uh, calls her to know you, uh, that her mind be restored, uh, hallelujah, God, uh, regulate her mind tonight, Lord, uh, deliver her father uh, from everything that separates her from you, God, uh, the former sea of spirit, uh, the spirit of addiction, Lord God, uh, I command the yeah. taste to dry up, Lord God, uh, take the will and the desire from her, Lord, uh, we thank you now for being provision for her. You are food on her table. You are clothes on her back. You are healing from the spirit of rejection and abandonment that has tormented her all the years of her life. I declare, Lord, that, Lord, by the power that has been invested in me, not many days hence shall this woman be free from the spirit that has been tormenting her for years and years and years. Do it, God. Your time is Do it up. in her life. Your time Break every is shackle, up. every spirit. In the name of Jesus. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Well, we thank you. Lay your hands upon Letitia's freedom. Touch her right now. 